Good day everyone. So we're getting back to the Impala and it's time to turn this thing into bronze. Now the first thing I need to do is make sure I repair any blemishes that are left in the wax. I need to smooth out the surface, fill in any bubble holes, erase the parting lines, and just make sure that it looks like how I want it to look when it becomes metal. Sometimes things don't cast properly in the wax, like the tip of this hoof. In that case, I have to rebuild and re-sculpt using the wax. It's not as easy as clay, but if you spend enough time, you can still get it to look good. So now it's a question of how do I screw this up? This way or this way? I'm thinking this way. Now this is a solid piece, but I think it's long enough and thin enough that it'll be okay to get away with that. If it's too thick, there's too much metal contraction, and it starts to try to rip itself apart because it's going to solidify at the feet, and the body's going to be liquid, and as that shrinks, it'll tear, it'll tear away from thinner parts like that. Sprewing is an art on its own. I'm by no means a master at it, but I'm finding as long as I get the metal in and make sure everything's vented properly, I usually get it to work. This was almost a disaster. I touched the horn with the hot metal and almost melted all the way through it. Thankfully, it wasn't too bad. Sometimes the sprues stick easy and sometimes they need a little more persuading. For that, I use a little canned air to freeze them instantly. I think we have everything set. The metal will come through this main channel up here into the belly, should go down to the head. The horns are all vented to this main sprue. The hooves are also attached to the main sprue. This hoof, this hoof right here, it's still at a downward angle, so I think the metal's gonna get all the way. I just put a few little pieces of sprue wax there, not to vent, but just to give a bubble a place to go. So now let's invest it. For investment, I use Ransom and Randolph's UltraVest or Advantage. They're great products and I've never had a problem with them. I get it mixed up nice and smooth and then I put it in the vacuum chamber to get all the bubbles out. I need to melt the wax out now and for that I like to steam it. So I put it in a stock pot and seal it up. That way when the wax drips out, I can collect it and reuse it. The remaining wax inside needs to be burned out at a very high temperature. So I put it in a kiln and slowly bring the temperature to well over a thousand degrees to make sure all the wax is gone. I'll put some silicon bronze in my furnace and get it to melting. Once it's up to about 2100 degrees Fahrenheit, it's ready to pour. I pull the flask out of the kiln at about a thousand degrees. I want to get the metal in as soon as possible. The hotter the flask is, the longer the metal stays liquid inside, and the more detail I'm going to pick up in the casting. Quenching the investment while it's still relatively hot allows it to break up and it's a lot easier to free up the casting if you do it this way. Well, that's looking pretty good so far. There's a weak spot on the leg. The leg is loose right there. There's a crack so I'm gonna have to TIG weld that but as of now I don't see any flaws. This looks good. Let's get it cleaned up and check it over once more. Uh-oh, that's a little worse than I thought. Some assembly required. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to align that leg and then very carefully TIG weld it back together. I used a piece of clay to hold the leg in place and then tried to guess on what amperage to use to weld this. I wish I had a trial piece, but it's kind of trial and error as I go. My goal here isn't to make it look pretty. I just want to get that leg fused back to the body 
and I can worry about blending it in and metal chasing it later on. When trying to lay down a metal bead on the opposite side, I let the leg get too hot and it melted and fell. Oftentimes the price of experience is failure. I'm gonna have to cut it off and start over. Rinse and repeat. Eventually I did get the leg back on, but now comes the metal chasing. I have to use a Dremel tool to blend it all in and make it look like a knee joint once again. It's a slow, tedious process. There were a few casting flaws in the body, but those are a lot easier to patch up. So now what I have to do is take my grinder and blend all these dots in. There's also a few bubbles, like one there, there's one on the knee there, and this one will be a little more tricky. But right in the ear, there was a bubble left behind, so I'm going to have to get that out. Same thing on the other side. That's because this piece was too long to fit in my vacuum chamber, so when I filled it up with investment, bubbles got trapped in the ears. And so goes the process of metal chasing. Finding all the bubbles to blend away, blending in all the weld lines, fixing any flaw left behind in the wax. Now is your last chance to make it as perfect as you can. So it's all cleaned up, I think it's looking good. Let's weld it to the base. For the base, I just made a little plaster pad. While it was still wet, I took the bottom of the foot here and I made an imprint. So that fits perfectly in there. And hopefully that'll be enough to keep it from tipping over. For the base, I used the process of sand casting. It's a lot quicker, easier, and cheaper way of doing things compared to lost wax casting. I don't even know if this will balance, so let's find out. Dang it! I'm gonna have to remake the base. So some more experience bought with the payment of failure. So I whipped up another base with plaster, sunk in the footprint, and textured this one with a walnut. Resandcasted it, and we'll give it another try. It works! I'll weld all the way around the foot pad and blend it in to match the texture. Just the finishing touches and a patina and we're done. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. Personally, I think this is my best work yet. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come on back for the next project. Take care.